Hello everyone! So, you've come back to meet the stallion that Brinny is going to be making sweet <laughs> You've come back to meet Brinny's husband is what I should have said. Or you've just stumbled across my channel because you've seen it's a meet the stallion video. So that's exciting too. Welcome, I hope you're having a wonderful and pleasant day. So I'm going to try and be speedy with this intro and get straight into it because I know you cheeky little monsters are going to be skipping ahead to see the stallion. So I promise we're going to be quick and then you get to meet Prince Harry. Prince Harry actually bailed which is really frustrating because he was replying to emails yesterday and yeah he's just not showed up so we're going to go ahead and show you Stallion Harry arguably better no offense has a Prince has his name does pop up on the screen pretty early on his proper name I can't pronounce it for love nor money it's like Clinton Heathcliff Heathcliff I can say that bit so any Welsh viewers out there please phonetically spell it out in the comment section and let us know how you're actually supposed to say it so I'm gonna let you guys meet him and then afterwards I'm going to get Hobbit over here who is the master of this grand plan and we'll have a brief discussion about a bit more about Harry because you don't really get many details you just kind of see him um so I'll tell you a bit more about him and then yeah we'll just kind of wrap up the vlog really and also have a little guess about what colour they might have any genetic connoisseurs that's so not the right word you know what I'm trying to say people that are good with genetics do comment down below and let me know what colour you think their baby will be also last pre-warning I wanted to give is that we keep calling ponies done in this and it's just like, I don't know, in the UK we're kind of bad for just pulling everything done that's kind of biscuity colour, but I know there's done and buckskin and done has to have the dorsal stripe, um, but we're a bit lazy, so often we just call everything done. So that explains it. If you're thinking, hmm, that actually looks buckskin, it probably is. I just didn't say it right. Okay, three, two, one, go and meet Harry. Okay, so heading down to meet the lovely Harry. Ta-da! <laughs> You are a very handsome boy. God, he's such an amazing colour. Yeah. Aren't you? I just get <laughs> he looks very clean to me. Oh, good boy. So, the gorgeous Harry. We're going to pop out in the field so you guys can see him. How incredible is he? You are like a Barbie pony. Good boy. Oh, he says the gate's opened. I know I'm going out. Good luck. How is it that you say his name? Because mum couldn't pronounce the prefix. Oh. Do you know? <laughs> They're all so difficult, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. Like, I'll I put it up struggle. on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> My Welsh viewers can let I, me I, know. When I'm looking at it, I can read it. But yeah. Really, I, when I go to pronounce it, yeah. Oh, there's Brinny. <laughs> yeah. She's got a bit of education to do as well. Oh, I'll kick the football. This is a much rather go to the Yeah, because I think there's a new mare there. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you can see the shade of green now. Hey. Where is that lovely dun pony? Oh, he's a piece of me. I knew there's a girl here for him somewhere. Yeah. He's like some kind of fairy tale pony. And <laughs> he like trots off over there. Yeah. He just looks lean. <laughs> Let's see, where is that lovely little dun mare?
awful behaviour. <laughs> off to meet one of your babies, Harry. Hey. Can you see her now? Brittany? <laughs> She's like, I don't actually fancy you. <laughs> Oh, she's <laughs> Hello. Harry, you can see her now. Oh, God. It's Just missing each it. other. Harry there. Brinny there, just looking the wrong way. <laughs> oh. So, who is that? That's your hubby. So this is Harry's yearling colt son. Yep. Hello, Jack. You're very handsome. Oh my gosh, that star's incredible. So what colour was his mum? Bay. Bay? Wow. So if you cross a bay and a cremello, you're going to Almost guaranteed done. And if you cross a chestnut with a cremello, you're guaranteed palomino. So what do you think with... Brinny, Dunnan. She's probably know, get like a box really. skin or a. It'll probably go lighter. You'll or a pomelo. You could end up with. Blimey, he's gorgeous. Oh, he's standing on the shelf. He says, Look how big I am now. <laughs> <laughs> he puts his foot on oh. the corner piece and he <laughs> props himself up. Yeah, he's trying he to is so fine, cute. So is his mum Welsh? Or is he it's, yeah. part of the bank? Yeah. Right, quick stop off to see some brood mares. So the two chestnuts are in full. So the other stallion, Frank, is it? Yeah. yeah. And then this lovely Palomino, little two year old. Oh, you see the lighting? You are so gorgeous. Bev's promised me I can event her when she's old enough. Yeah, you can... <laughs> now it's on camera. Yeah, you, can. <laughs> you can't back out. She's and a then jumper already. Yeah. And if we pan up, look at those hills. Incredible. Right. Nice to meet you girls. So we've got Harry there. We're gonna go and see again. I'm gonna pan round though. Like look how insane these views are. Camera's not adjusting very well today. Oh, Amazing. I'm gonna give you some action. Good boy. Okay, right, so we've got Jack here guys and he is gonna show us a Brazilian toe touch. Not two touch, which I just got wrong. Okay. Oh look at that, look at that skill. Oh. In the corner. I don't know anything about football, but I think in the corner's good, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. Yeah. You'd have got that penalty shootout in the Euros. <laughs> okay, so Jack there, continuing his practice. But look at this view. That is literally insane. And then we've got Harry there. I thought you were gonna get me then. <laughs> gonna get some more shots of Harry for you. Oh, it's so pretty. So, we've gone to get some, well, they've gone to get some feed to see if I can get some cute pictures and videos. So kind. Um, but I am just chilling with Harry here. He's like, yeah, bye, <laughs> bye, Meg. Such an incredible setting. Are you off, mate? What a lovely stallion. So, Bev was telling me that they've only picked him up in June and previously he had just been used for covering. Um, I think he's seven or eight now, not entirely sure. But he'd gotten quite kind of skinning, quite run up, as they do when they um, cover a lot. I've not really done any ridden work or anything like that. So Bev's in the process of breaking him in, which is very exciting to hopefully make him into a ridden horse as well as all of his covering duties. So do bear him in mind if you're looking for a gorgeous Cremello Welsh D stallion. He's got very, very good breeding. I will um, put links or anything I can below for you guys to find him but he is absolutely stunning and so sweet like so nicely natured a second ago i just went up and caught him so i could try and 
position him in front of the uh, lovely hills there to get a good photo and he just let me waltz up, give him a little cuddle. So he is a very lovely stallion. I think you're going to be a super match with little Brinny. Right, I think we have food on the way. Let's see what edgy footage we can get, guys. <laughs> He's like, goodbye. <laughs> put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. I want to be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. Just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. So let go, let go, I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. Yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright. Cause I just wanna see her fly. I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. So come open up my door. I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. I won't see your face. Good lad. Alright, that's goodbye from Harry for this vlog, guys. What a handsome boy. God, he's like obsessed with Brinny over there. Oh. Really is, actually. Yeah. I fancy her. Well, best of luck with her, mate. Just waiting for my guest speaker. She's chatting rubbish as she approaches. She's wearing a stripy floor on top, everyone. Nothing. Welcome to the chat show, Hello. Hobbit Elvig. You've actually made notes and you've tried to hide them. That's embarrassing. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> That's why I can't actually read them. So. <laughs> okay, so you've Hi, all guys. met Harry. Hopefully you're happy with Hazza. You've not actually met him. You've met no. him virtually. Yeah, like when yep. you meet someone on a dating site. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Well, you'll get to see the video. You've not actually seen any of the footage. No, been. no, I'm looking forward to that. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will. I think I already have. But um, yeah, no, I wanted to explain my thinking a bit. Because um, yesterday, <laughs> you made it sound. Yes, you made it sound as though as a random snap decision. That I'd no, had okay, but it was a random. I, it came to me quite late. It did. It did. It did. <laughs> but. It, this is not something that I've um, just done on a whim, guys. Um, I have followed these very, very lovely, talented Welsh ponies for a long time. In fact, um, it goes back a long time. Our old friend Tracy had produced, invented yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple um, from a stud when we lived back in Oxfordshire. So I have, they've been on my radar for a long time. And in fact, um, one um, very notable stallion. What well, am I going to attempt to pronounce this? I've just tried to say it. I reckon I can say it when I read it. Go on then. Sin four. four. Okay. Four. Okay. Um, creme de la creme was a stallion that um, I looked at for Millie. Um, he is stunning. Working, in fact, competing at Pre St George. Oh, you mean the stunning? Oh, sorry, yeah. I thought you meant I was stunning. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're stunning as well. Anyway, he he was on my radar for Millie quite some time ago, um, but he wasn't quite big enough for the stallion I was looking for, and he was only AI, 
which artificial insemination I decided know. wasn't really that's the um, old the, the way I wanted baster to up the bum yeah and I didn't want to do that for Millie so I, I was very very disappointed because um, the lady who bred him Kay Randall breeds fantastic horses if you look at her page um, you will find countless um, horses that are going out ponies going out doing very well in dressage jumping etc etc Anyway, so I discarded it, and we'd actually had the conversation about maybe putting Brinny in foal and decided yeah. against it. However, yeah. then while Meg was away, when I was mm -hmm. left to my own devices, I came across a very lovely lady called Bev Turner. And she'd recently acquired um, a very nice young stallion that you've just met from, from this stud, although he had been elsewhere in the meantime. Mm. So I spent a long time on the phone to Bev and we got on like house on fire and I was uh, very tempted. Well, you're more than tempted, Mum, because you booked the transporter. <laughs> so don't give I thought, me that. I better do it quickly before don't Meg gets before I was driving around the M5 while you were there like, hello? <laughs> yeah, well, I think if you could have got rid of Brinny before <laughs> I got back, you would have done. That, that was my plan, really. But um, sadly, it wasn't quite as quick as I'd hoped. Um, so his name is Heathcliff, and he's eight years old. Ah, he's eight, okay. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't I think sure he's 15 one. Is yeah, about right? 15 one. And you'll see in the yeah. video, Bev briefly explained in one of the clips you might be able to hear, she's sort of saying how kind of lean he is, and it's because he's been away running with mares, and he's just gotten really quite... He's not skinny, but for a no. Welsh D stallion, yeah. he's quite lean. But when he bulks up, he is going to be your more kind of classical, yeah. chunky Welsh. But he's quite a nice sporty Well, I was going to say, I, th I thought um, a lot from the stud are more sporty yeah. frame, which I know you prefer, Yeah, actually. which you know it's good for like eventing yeah. well, ponies, which I and need to breathe. dressage, and, and the other thing is they all have fantastic temperaments. Yeah, um, no, you can tell which, that in the video. you know, I think there has been some criticism about people breeding only for colour and you know I want to address that really because here we go first and foremost for, for me um you know I'm not trying to be breed anything that is a world beater I won't be able to ride anything like that I I want to breed ponies that I would be looking for you know that would uh mother daughter mother son share will hack out with middle-aged ladies around the forest and then at the weekend, they'll... Try to breed your next bear, basically. Pony club. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and something that we'll, you'll enjoy. But also, on. a little bit with this one, sh hopefully, I mean, this is a very long-term plan, and a lot of things have to fall into place, but we're hoping we might get a Cremello or a Polino with excellent breeding. Fingers crossed, a filly, <laughs> which we'll then keep, and then we could put to a thoroughbred stallion and then potentially get a done... <laughs> Welsh thoroughbred, part bred to go to Badminton. That is a long way down the in line. Twenty forty. <laughs> well, we'll see. But um, I think whatever colour, they will be very much loved, won't they? And yeah, it will be a really lovely pony because it's going to have excellent breeding. Yeah. In Welsh well, and I circles. think both hers and Millie's. They, you know, they come from really good stock that have brilliant temperaments, very well put together. Uh, you know, correct, good conformation sound tough yeah. and should be able to turn their hoof to anything which is is basically what you know most people want they want a nice pony that's going to be a lovely oh family member give us a clap at home <laughs> and maybe do some dressage or some eventing right You're lucky okay Are you good because <laughs> you've taken a long time to get all that out yeah all right. that, you've not really said much it's actually of any oh relevance what did you want to know then <laughs> I mean, really, we're here to talk about Harry, but there's not, there's not a great deal more to talk about Harry. No. He is in the process of being broken. I think Bev is hoping to do dressage with him. Wow. I did give her a sneaky kind of look if you want him to go venting. <laughs> Please call me, because I think he looks like he should really jump. Should jump. Fantastic. And move. Um, so Brinny's probably going to be there four to six weeks. That's what we're thinking. Um, hopefully we'll go and visit her, see how she's getting on, Definitely. getting broken as well. And yeah, fingers crossed. I think you're hoping to have an early sit on, aren't you? Yeah, but she's pretty <laughs> tiny still. Oh, anyway. it's right to have a little sit on and lead around. Yeah, exactly. I have seen a few people have been concerned the fact that Brinny's only like three and a bit, three and a bit 
Um, but this is rather common to put horses yeah. in foal at this stage. Not unusual at all. They right? obviously don't have the foal until they're four. And yeah, if you do any research, you'll see that it is perfectly fine to do so. Battery is flashing. Thank you very much for watching this vlog, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you again soon. Hope you love Harry. Live, love, love sure you. We'll let us know. Catch Bye. you on the flip side. Bye. Could somebody wake me up? I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see your face where. <laughs> this is what we're doing to try and get some uh, footage for you guys. <laughs> Harry. Oh, there we go. We've managed to pique his interest. <laughs> He's like, nah, not first. At least we can tell that he's quiet. I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. Where people forget and you get another try